Hello, I'm Pat O'Leary. I'm a pediatric cardiologist here at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. My special area of interest is in the use of ultrasound to evaluate, diagnose, and follow congenital heart defects in children. Many people have often asked me, however, what is ultrasound as it relates to the heart? In fact, we use a name for this test called echocardiography that's very confusing. But echocardiography really means just an ultrasound exam of the heart, just as you would have in your obstetrician's office or for a gallbladder problem. But we use a different name to designate that our interest is particular to the heart in this case. In fact, echocardiography or ultrasound of any kind is just a technique of using reflected sound waves to make images of the heart as you can see in this slide. A sonographer or a physician will use an ultrasound system to penetrate the body with a sound wave and then the reflected waves from that uh, transducer are displayed on a screen showing the internal cardiac anatomy of the patient as in this example. Echocardiography is very similar to the natural process many animals use and the Navy uses in sonar. Bats, dolphins, and naval vessels all use sound waves that are transmitted into a medium, either the air or water, or in our case, the patient's body to make an image of something at a distance from the sound source. Echocardiography really uses these sound waves to make pictures of not only the chambers and valves of the heart, but of the blood flowing through them and the arteries and veins leading to and away from the heart's structures themselves. We can use echocardiography to determine the causes of abnormal heart sounds, which we often refer to as murmurs, and your pediatrician or family physician may detect such a murmur in your child and ask for an echo exam to be performed. We can also evaluate the blood flow across valves, either normal or abnormal, and through arteries and veins. We can assess the strength of heart muscle, as well as its thickness, and if we find something that's not normal, we can follow the progress of that problem throughout your life using ultrasound to follow uh, the progress and function of your heart over time. Echocardiography is many things and is used broadly throughout medicine today and will continue to be so in the future. But there are several things that it is not. An echocardiogram is not painful. It does not require any needles or blood loss, and it's not dangerous. There is no radiation exposure or any other known side effect to your body or its organs from having an ultrasound examination. Hopefully our summary today has shown you that an echocardiogram or an ultrasound exam of the heart is not only simple but safe and an accurate way to detect and follow heart problems, either in yourself or in your children. And hopefully, this eliminates some of the ambiguity that you might feel when your doctors ask for an echocardiogram to be performed on a family member. The test is extremely valuable and helpful to us in determining not only whether or not your heart is normal structurally, but also for a functional assessment. If you would like more information about echocardiography or children's heart problems or to schedule an appointment, please visit our website. And I thank you for joining us today.